Okay, so really quickly, um, I was trying to make some images for the article, but uh, it's probably better if we use an, a video because I can click through and show you things much faster. So this is my back office of my ad manager. I am with I am in a campaign, right? I was in a campaign. I just want to show you um, what it looks like in here. So I have from August. We're using August as the example. Um, I have from August. You can see some. Uh, you you can just see some of my data. So you know you can see here. I spent you know amount spent towards limit. Uh, we got my reach down here. Let's hide that. Got my reach down here. This is August 1st through August 31st. So this this August I spent uh, this amount. Um, let's see if we can zoom out a little better. Um, let's zoom out. Okay. All right. So I'm having a little bit of trouble, but here we go. Let's zoom out some more. Okay. So that's a better view. Uh, account spending limit. Uh, I forget what my limit was, but that's not really important. But this is the back office. This is how many people I reached. That's that's the amount I spent there. And it shows you, it gives you some stats, what happened day in and day out. My budget was about $50 a day. Um, it goes up and down. Uh, the impressions I got, 57,000. I don't know where you can get that. I don't know any other like older methods where you can get that impression rate. That's that's impressive, right? Pun intended. Um, my cost per 1,000 impressions, $30. So um, I, I forget what the M stands for, but link clicks, right? Uh, this is how many people that clicked on a link and were interested in my ad. You can, you know, you're reading this article, you'll probably see my ad and the ad copy somewhere around, but that's how many people clicked on this. And the cool thing about digital marketing is like once someone interacts with your um, ad or your marketing or your website, you kind of have that they're, they're now a prospect and you can uh, market to them for like extended, extended periods of time. So with Facebook, you have a pixel. So these people that clicked on my link, I have a pixel on my account and that pixel will follow those people automatically. In addition to that, me running ads to those specific people will be a lot cheaper. So we call it retargeting with digital marketing. Retargeting these people will be much cheaper than trying to acquire new prospects or new clients that were never interested in the first place. Um, you can see here, um, I had three campaigns running, but what I want to show you is these leads. So I got 51 leads from, you know, 1700 ad spend. And uh, that's pretty good. You know, some people spend... Uh, a lot more than this to get uh, fewer leads than this. In my experience, this this has been better. Um, and my leads, it's up to you how you convert those leads. But, you know, at least you have the leads. At least they're coming in. Um, and it even breaks down, you know, here, here's my here's the demographics about the women and the men. Uh, the country, of course, I only stayed in the United States of America. And let's talk about my account. You may have seen this prior in the post prior. Uh, but this is my account. The account is Jerome Buys Houses. I got 51 results. I reached this many people. I got this many impressions. And this was my cost per result. So would you pay $35 for a real estate lead? I would, like, especially seller leads. I know because I'm a licensed realtor myself that um, seller leads are a lot more expensive. People pay hundreds of dollars for these types of leads. So um, these aren't even real realtor leads. These are real estate investor leads. And this is a really cheap cost per lead. Now it's up to you how you convert them, but still it's a it's a it's a good expense. So um, that was really quickly how to um, just a back a back end exploration of what's going on in Facebook. So a lot of people think Facebook is just that front end where you see right here. Uh, you see the front end where it's a bunch of junk and clutter and you know. Um, just nonsense that's not necessarily relevant to your business. This is the front end news feed, but the real power comes into Facebook when you tap into this here, this ad account, these ads, you can do so much with this. So um, I just wanted to share that really quickly. It's much easier to share it using a video than a uh, a bunch of images. So that's why I wanted to create that. All right, I'll see you on the, on the other side.